So what's up people? Uh, if you haven't watched my previous video where I just described how we went about the table bolt, uh, you can go back, watch it. Everything is nice and sexy, pre-fit. Uh, this is my 2009 Honda Civic K20Z2 FD2 type uh, JDM. Not the SI model. This is how far we've gotten with the turbo bolt. Uh, just to give a brief rundown, front bumper removed, and all the shenanigans you can. If you are building, if you are doing a turbo rebuild or turbo build, uh, I'm not gonna go about like other guys describing every part, uh, wasting time on this is how a blower valve works, this is how a wastegate works, this is a turbo, this is what it does. If you're doing a turbo bolt, you're watching this video, you'll already understand. Uh, oh, I hope you already understand what you're dealing with or that, that, you, that you've done some research. Either way, table's fitted, nice and sexy, tucked away at the back, unseen T3, T4 style, open intake. Um, that's as far as I've come tonight with the fitting. I'll do the plumbing for the intercooler, lower valve, waste gate tomorrow. But the first things first, which I had to do, was remove the oil drain pan to get the oil return line. And this is what this video is about. So what, why I'm specifically showing this car from this point of view is for you to understand once I go underneath, from which angle, because my car is a right-hand drive. It's not a left-hand drive. I remember it's a JDM model. So that you can <clears throat> stick with me and see how I'll be removing the oil drain pan without removing the subframe or any other type of bracket for that matter except for one bolt from the engine mounting so give me a second I'll be sliding in I do not want to like switch the camera back and forth because uh, I feel that confused me with a previous video I watched and so I want to give it to you exactly as we go about so, oh damn, let me grab my torch. Right, I can slide up in. So, the camera is still facing towards the back of the car. And it's pretty dark, it's gonna get a bit light soon. Son of a damn carpet. Alright. I'm hoping you'll be able to see. So, there's my oil drain pan. Engine mount. I've just removed that one bolt. Just removed that one bolt from the engine mount. Already changed the oil. And went on and removed all the other bolts for the sump. Now these ones around are easy to get by. They're easy to get by. The camera is still in the same position. Just shifting back. God damn, what is it with this fucking mat? Sorry people, mind my language. I did say that I'm a seafarer, so I do swear like a sailor, but I don't give a shit about it. This video is because this is a K20Z2. I haven't seen much K20Z2 videos, so just to specify for everyone what's going on about it, there you can see the turbo on top, compressor side. Getting back to the wall sump pan. So, why I haven't removed any other parts? Uh, as you can see, if you remove the bolt from the engine mount, this part, let's just tweak the camera, tweak the torch. If you remove the bolt, this part is supposed to. God damn! This part can go up and down. So once you remove the the sump, 
it will just drop down it will slide the engine mount will slide up and out this is just a bracket so when you slide it up and out uh, then it's pretty much straightforward part of the subframe is still covering the oil pan but it's like probably like this much that can probably be regarded as two or three centimeters two or three centimeters is absolutely nothing you have that space you have that drop down space once you drop it down uh, slide it out uh, from this side okay just for your interest the camera is now pointing forward towards the car that's my garage forward towards the car i did not remove the gearbox housing as you can see these two bolts were a bit tucked away please do remember uh, all the oil pan bolts were 10 millimeter 10 millimeter uh, bolts 14 of them uh, where it got interesting was yeah this subframe side remember okay, now the camera is pointing forward still you can see the garage there forward where it got interesting was where the bolts were on this side under or at least on top of the subframe how I got there was the fender cover part I removed this I removed this came down to get out of the way I had access from this angle and then I pretty much worked my way um, across the control arm over over and then you get the timing belt uh, not the, the 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 fan belt on this side oh damn it not the fan belt i forgot the name now i'll go to that side of the angle now and from this point of view i could still get to a few bolts easily if you're quite flexible and willing can get it done you can get it done without removing the subframe i know this camera angle is real pretty shitty at this point but please do bear with me i know there is people out there wondering how they can go about this without removing the subframe and oh removing as minimal parts as possible okay so as you've just noticed i just climbed up the car again from beneath so now we're at the right front side driver side right hand drive model and going around okay here we are at the rooms